Hello mamas to be, how are you today? My name is Ali McGuinness and today I'm going to take you through an upper body strengthening and toning workout. It's nice and short, relatively simple, although you do need a couple of pieces of equipment. Now normally when I do my workouts they're completely equipment free because I am I do travel full time but I've got access to a gym right where I am here so thought I'd make use of a couple of pieces of equipment. So if you've got one then grab, you can pause the video if you need to, you can grab a mat, um, a chair, you should have that anyway, and some dumbbells if you have them. So I've got a couple of smaller dumbbells uh, for one of our exercises and one heavier dumbbell as well for a bigger muscle group. If you don't have dumbbells but you still want to do the workout that's great, just grab a couple of cans and you'll still get enough of a workout, you'll focus on your technique um, and yeah just feel nice and strong into the upper body for the day. So pause uh, the video if you need to, grab your equipment and then we'll get started. Okay now this has been designed for all stages of a healthy pregnancy uh, but it may not be right for you if you have any medical concerns or other things going on so please do check with your primary health care practitioner if you're not sure whether it's right for you. We're going to start with just a really nice easy warm up beginning with some step touches all we're going to do is get our heart rate up a little bit we're going to just gradually ease our arm muscles into it. Now we actually only have five exercises for the upper body okay completely focus on upper body today I do have uh, other videos that are uh, focused on um, butt and hip stability um, and one that's focused on cardio, others that are on yoga or stretching. This one is uh, purely just for the upper body. So we're going to warm up the arms a bit more, just reaching forward and back and taking nice big deep breaths in. Good, if you want to, take the arms all the way up. Now when you reach the arms above the head you will get a lot of extra intensity so it's up to you whether you do that option or whether you keep it down okay. Just, just judge based on how you're feeling today and on your general fitness level as well. Okay last one we're going to take it to an easy walk so we walk forward and back. Okay giving the legs a little bit of a movement as well. I did my leg workout yesterday in anticipation of doing this one today so I can feel them just a tiny bit which is nice when it's just a tiny bit okay add the arms now if you want to keep them low keep them down here otherwise take them straight up okay remember higher intensity will get your heart rate up more as you reach the arms up we're really just trying to get the arms warmed up Okay, change sides, tap and change. Again, take the arms down if you want to. I'll, I'll alternate between levels. We're going to go straight into our first exercise after this, which is push ups, everyone's favourite. Get the hardest one out of the way first. <laughs> and that's what we're going to use the chair for. Good, okay, marching, breathing in. And out. one more time. And out and just give those shoulders and arms a bit of a shake. Roll the shoulders back. I want you to take it down to your chair. Now you can, uh, in early stages of pregnancy, maybe uh, still do push-ups. Personally, I'm 19 weeks at the moment and I can do them on my knees on the floor, but um, I feel like it's quite a lot of work from my midsection and my, my stomach's touching the floor anyway. So. Um, I can get a better range if I use a chair, a little bit easier as well. Uh, if you've got a, depending on the design of your chair, if you've got some armrests uh, that can take your hands a bit higher, it will be easier. Okay, I'll show you this version first. Okay, you can start too now. This isn't a demonstration, we've started. <laughs> Your triceps more as well. So choose your level. 
We're just going to do five more. Five, four, three. Good. Keep your shoulders down as well. Two. And one. Good. Taking a stretch. Using the chair. Hit the knees out. And just drop them down. Such a nice stretch to the chest and shoulders. And arms. Okay, let's just do 10 more to finish off. Okay, so choose your level. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Down and up. Okay, breathing continuously. Five to go. Five. Four. That's it. You can do it. Last two. we move into a dumbbell one arm row okay which if you do have the different size dumbbells then select your slightly heavier dumbbell for this you only need one okay be careful when you pick it up bend your legs pick up your dumbbell and I'll just give you a side on view okay so take one foot in front of the other we're gonna lean forward keeping nice and long through the torso and just using the chair for support here Okay, and we draw the elbow back. That's five. We're going to go for 15 of these. Six, seven. We're leading back with the elbow and we're squeezing into the upper back. Let's do five more. Three. Two and one. Good. Now you're just going to switch straight over to the other side. I'm going to move the chair just so that you can get uh, the other angle. Okay, and let's go. 15 on this side. Try and keep your head in line with your spine as well. And once again, breathing continuously. Just five to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bending your legs, popping that one back down. Won't need that again. As I said, only five exercises. We've done two already, three to go. Okay, this time, move forward a little bit for you. Uh, we're going to do some dips. Okay? Actually, I should keep that on the mat, shouldn't I? I'm going to show you two versions, okay? Your harder version for dips, down and up. Now you may need to take your legs a bit wider uh, than usual, just to accommodate your belly, depending on what size it is. Or if you want to go for an easier version, down on the floor, okay? Which you may want to do in the later stages, or just depending on your strength level. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go back up to the chair. Don't you get up and down, you just choose your level. And we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna do 10, then we're gonna have a rest and do another 10. Okay, so here we go. But it's nice and close to the chair, down and up. Now the main thing with dips is to aim to keep your elbows nice and close, squeezed together. Okay, just three more. Three, two, and one. Well done. This is the second set to the floor, so you choose. Like I said, a bit hard getting up and down. Try and choose a level that's right for you. Okay, and let's go. Last ten. Down and up. Again, keeping those elbows squeezed close together. Feel this in the back of the arm. Six, seven, and last one. And release. 
face, shake it out. Good stuff, ladies. All right. Just going to move my chair out of the way. Do grab a drink if you need one at any time. We've got two upper body exercises to go. Now grab the smaller size of your dumbbells. If you have them, you'll need two this time. Uh, or grab your cans if that's what you're using. Okay, roll your shoulders back. We're going to go for an upright row. Hands start in front. We lead with the elbows and release. You might want to do this uh, workout in another few days once you've realised you know what's the right if you do have dumbbells at home what's the right weight for you for each exercise and whether it's right for you to do dips on the chair or the floor that's it leading with the elbows keeping the shoulders down okay one more there and just give the shoulders a little bit of a roll back. Okay, let's do 10 more of these. Leading with the elbows up and down. I'm getting nice and sweaty. Seven, six, okay, last three, two, and one, good. Bending your knees, popping your dumbbells down. And back to the centre. Roll the shoulders and we've got one more exercise. No equipment at all. Really, really super. Okay, circle your arms forward. And just keep that going. That's all it is. I put my bug spray on, but I use the natural herbal stuff and I don't think it works. <laughs> Better to cover up, but... It's a bit hard when it's so hot every day. It's only seven o'clock in the morning too. Good, so nice, long and strong with those arms. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and back the other way. Should be getting that burn on now. Remember, this is the last exercise. Hold them there if you can. Of course, rest if you need to. Let's go, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done, release those arms, shake them out, roll your shoulders. Hope you're feeling just a, a good level of burn on those arms now. Uh, should be disappearing already though, and we'll do a few stretches to finish. So take your arm across into a shoulder stretch and hold it there. In case anyone's wondering, I'm currently 19 weeks pregnant with my second child. And the other side. Okay, so just keep breathing continuously, slowly helping you to ease your heart rate down. Okay, arm over the top and into triceps. So try and keep your chin up for this one. Draw the elbow down. Uh, these are working pretty hard in those dips on the chair or the floor and also with the push-ups. And over to the other side. Keep that chin up. Oh, mm -hmm. just really big flying thing. Just stay all calm. And arms behind, this time stretching through the chest and the front of the shoulders. Draw your shoulders back. And then reach on the front. Uh, you can also tuck your chin down and just stretching through the upper back, nice rounding through your upper back there. Okay, and last stretch. Hand on hips, up and over to one side. If this feels a little bit intense for you, you can just keep the arms by the side and just stretch and hold, even just there. Something's nice to just give yourself a little bit of support with that hand on the hip. Otherwise, try and keep your hips in line. Feel that stretch all the way down the side of the body. Okay, release over to the other side. 
So I do have a, a range of pre and postnatal resources here on my YouTube channel. So uh, if you enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment and subscribe and check out the other stuff on offer. I've got a cardio workout, I've got stretching, uh, yoga, uh, hip and butt stability as well. Plus I've got all my pre and postnatal fitness vlogs from the last time I was pregnant, which is me talking about the changes I was going through. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Mamas To Be. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!